and out come Hearts to a tumultuous reception. I think, obviously, it's two-tiered. A welcome back to the side who did marvellously well in Yugoslavia. And a very special welcome back, of course, to John Robertson. There he is, the prodigal returned. £750,000 worth, so we are told. And the wee man is back, I think, to a place he ought never to have left in the first place. And there's Tosh McKinley, obviously representing a total of almost a million pounds has been uh, spared by Wallace Bursa in bringing new talent to this club. And there is the full Hearts team today. Um, I'm sure many of these players were really put to the test, not just in the game the other night, but in that long, harrowing, tiring journey, uh, which I experienced as well. Another return, the return this time of that highly talented player, Mark Walters. The last time, in fact, I saw him playing at Tyne Castle, he was absolutely superb. There is a full range of side, still suffering, of course, from uh, crucial injuries. Woods and goals, still apparently a few, maybe a couple of weeks yet before he's fully fit, hasn't started training yet. There's a new man, Kevin McDonald, the Highlander who went down straight down to English football, Leicester, back to Liverpool. And now, at the moment, on a temporary contract with Rangers. David Sign, the referee, Will Kent face. Now, it really should be a marvellous game this afternoon. There's certainly a superb atmosphere. Hearts G'd up by their unprecedented European triumph. And Rangers desperately in need of points to stay in front. It's usually a very hard physical encounter this and Rangers win a corner kick in exactly 12 seconds and undoubtedly David Cooper will try to make this swing in which he does just tipped away there and get him a Kai to Kenny Black now Robertson his first touch of the ball to loud acclamation kid John Brown coming away with this Just beyond Cooper, Galloway. McKinley, the new man, in action immediately. Not the bad ball, but Brown is in the hearts with the pressure. Well away by McDonald. There's Cooper. It's all been very hectic. Now Walters beautifully brought that down. Run there by Stevens. Yes, he was held back. It's a free kick. Cahoon could see the danger and gave him an arm. Quickly to McDonald. Ian Ferguson has and Stevens been attacking on the right. Richard Goff. Need to slice at that and a bit of pushing by Drinkle. Free kick. There will be absolutely no use complaining to David Simon about anything in this game. Waste of time and effort. Yes, Stevens. Walters, beautiful ball, good play by Rangers. Drinkle. Losing well out in that. Now Fergus. Stevens at the back. Drinkle. No, oh, that was a very ambitious shot indeed. He had players inside him in much better positions. You could see here, there was a little gap. But look at Wilkins in that uh, edge of the box. McKinley, who is very, very good coming forward. With good touch by Galloway, but he seemed to do a bit of climbing according to the referee. 
And I think uh, Galloway, again, the use of the tongue. Which is always the most stupid of all the offences, dissent. I'll tell you what, Gagey Syme has got the most dramatic facial gestures. Do well as an excellent Macbeth, I think. Straight to McPherson. Donald. On the outside now, Ferguson. Black goes with him. He's played by Rangers. Drinkle. McPherson. And Rangers at the moment playing very good football indeed. This time Stevens driving at it forward. Drinkle not quite getting the control necessary. Brown. A little bit of a tangle. and tries again but pushes <laughs> driving it straight towards golf McDonald a little bit slow going for that there's Brown to Cooper first time we've seen David Cooper said no freedom at all Looking for Drinkle, that is a very slight ball, I would have thought. No chance of Drinkle getting that one. It's McDonald, Drinkle. McDonald in the far side, Ferguson with a very good jump, and that is the most careless tackle. That will certainly be a booking. No, well, that surprises me. Very surprised the name didn't go in the book. For this challenge by Cooper. <laughs> and now the chase. Goff. That's almost weighted well. Cahoon. To Richard Goff out of position. Galloway. Oh, that's a terrible finish. Very neatly constructed move in midfield by John Cahoon. Butcher watching that very carefully, playing safe. Brown, that might be a corner kick, no save by Butcher. Massive Ranger support in the background, kid. Ah, uh, the long one! This must be a chance, it is! Galloway! The man who scored that vital goal on Wednesday gets it again. The Rangers defence extremely nervous the way they tried to cope with that. And in he went. Not the tidiest of finishes, but it nestled in the net. Ferguson. Just got that away. There's Brown. Wilkins. Again playing it short. 
Walters can't get there, Kidd. Butcher to Cooper. Again, his pass goes astray. Well, that was a heavy one. And Black, I think, will be booked for that. That's the way it went. Drinkle is up, Bill Ferguson to Stevens, to Walters, too much. Exactly half an hour gone, Hearts in the lead. Silly challenge there, and it's getting very angry and tempestuous. David Simon will have to step in, calm things down. Well, this is the challenge that went on there, and roughly giving a free kick to Hart. They're still not clearing the lines at all well. No free kick, there's Walters, and neither Walters nor Drinkle are making any impression at all on this heart's defence now. Mark you, they're not getting the very best of service, it's hardly prolific. Like that, going straight to the hearts player. Free kick. David Carson. Offside. And there is Richard Goff. Whoa, taking an eternity about that. And that was a rather desperate tackle. It really was. And the referee is going for Galloway. So Galloway will be sent off. Hard to reduce to ten men. Alec McDonald is incensed by that, but the referee was right on the spot. Well, this is what it was all about. It's Richard Goff juggled with it. And Galloway came roaring in, and the referee booked him, and off he goes. Porter Rangers, here's Ferguson. Just get rid of that, now Brown. Donald. It's getting very, very nasty. Cooper will be booked, and that, really, I cannot understand why anyway, anybody after a sending off of that kind would attempt to tackle from the rear. Right at that moment. The flag is done, he's bound to be booked. Away he went. And the Cahoon brought down there by Cooper in a most ungainly fashion. Butcher goes for that. Brown, Stevens. 
That's a throw to Rangers. Mackay. Beautiful play by Hart. No golf. Free kick. And that Rangers defense, nevertheless, looks very shaky. Beyond everybody and taken away by Ferguson. Beautiful play by Ferguson. Trying to find Brown. There's McPherson. Plays it safe. Cooper. Cooper dragged back. Free kick. Well, beautifully saved from Brown. Very good effort by the defender. And it seems more likely that a defender coming in like that would give Rangers a better opportunity for scoring than the front men. McKinley didn't quite get there. Play by Wilkins. Just laid it on that to Whitaker. I think there'll be a booking for Walters for that tackle. And they needn't protest about it. This is now turning into a very ugly game indeed. One day, so a Rangers scarf there in Gorgi Road doesn't look too good for this side at the moment. He should uh, be very shortly getting his halftime cup of tea, though. Took off, and there goes the halftime whistle. Well, unfortunately, I have to say it's uh, a game that left bad taste in the mouth. To be perfectly honest with you, some of the fouls were really both vicious and stupid. And sometimes the stupidly vicious fouls are the worst of all. They, they realize in the kind of atmosphere we've been having that bookings are going to occur. There's been a sending off, and still some of the play went on rather uh, so really very badly indeed. And now Hart's going with that only goal by Galloway. What a man for just being in the right spot at the right time as he was there. And then spoiling his afternoon, booked twice. Second time for that uh, foul on Richard Goff. And off they go with Hearts, nevertheless, in that lead that still might be vital, even though they're down to ten men. Well, John Robertson starts the game and having had 45 minutes to look at Scottish football again, I'm wondering, he was beginning to wonder if it's, he's done the right thing coming back in terms of some of the sheer physical side of this game. Kinley, it's a useful ball. And once again, Brown gets it. That was a better one, too. Brown, off he goes, and Walters seemed to take his eye off that. And the two front men for Rangers have done virtually nothing. Here's Walters now. Rangers got the free kick. They'll push in the big man now. Butcher, Goff. Cooper is there. There's Butcher. Oh, no strength for that whatsoever. And he's annoyed with himself because very rarely does he get that kind of freedom when he's in the visitor's penalty box. Look at this. Now, beautifully flighted, and Butcher had the freedom of the goal mode. Certainly somebody came out of the back, but that really ought not to have put him off. Look for a one-two for Drinko, who's far too slow, to be honest. 
Uh, Richard Goff to Walters. McKinley goes with them. McDonald does well to get that over. Just away, now Brown. Wilkins very slow now. This is a good counter-attack by Hart. Robertson on the far side and Butcher tries to get that tackle in. Oh, good save by Walker. Excellent save, now Wilkins. That was the counter-attack and driven in well. Walker doing exceptionally well to keep that down now. On comes Andy Gray. McDonald has gone off. And John Robertson, I think, having come back into this fiery game, finding it a little bit too much, but he's come back, off he goes. And this is Ian Ferguson, fresh pair of legs to Gray. And it goes to Walters, and that is the weakest of finishes. Well, Rangers finishing has been like this all afternoon, look at this. Far too close to the goalkeeper, who was in a very good position, Mark, you're making it difficult. Gallant display by Hart in the second half. I think uh, Walters will be booked, and if he is, he'll be sent off. He's off. That was a preposterous foul. It was bound to happen. Across we went. Yes, he went across them. So down to ten men each. Got to Stevens. He was trying a shot at goal, he was way off. That's a run forward, Whitaker. Ooh! That was a lack of understanding there just for a second. Look at this. And Henry Smith, that's one of the best saves he's made all afternoon. Well, Ferguson is through, he must score. He has, it's 2 nothing. A blunder between a goalkeeper and Butcher, and that is 2 nothing. Forward it went, after that collision, and Ferguson perhaps the easiest goal he's ever had to score. Stevens from Ferguson. Andy Gray is up. And still they can't put it away. And I think that's a corner kick. But uh, to Ferguson. Hearts have fought well for everything. This is the other Ferguson. But Richard Goff is there. Stevens in the middle. And there goes the final whistle. Hearts have done it. A remarkable victory in an astonishing game. The sportsmanship was a million miles away, I regret to say. But Rangers met a courageous side today, reduced to ten men initially. And with the support behind them and the backs of the wall in the second half, they eventually fought through for...